Today's Gospel, Monday, August 2, is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 14, verses 13 to 21. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so they can go to the villages and buy foods for themselves. Jesus said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish. And looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Wilfred Kusumbal from BEM. Where human wisdom ends, God's begins. Some time ago, there was this cable TV series about Jesus that I watched. I was of course excited to watch it because the show blurb said it was about Jesus, his story, and the gospel. I was disappointed to say the least especially with the episodes that discuss the numerous miracles that Jesus made happen. The show actually tried to explain how to walk on water. It also tried showing how to turn water into wine. And it attempted to show how to heal the sick or raise the dead to life. The show also tried to explain how the multiplication of the loaves could have happened. It said it could simply be a societal impulse to bring out their hidden stash of bread and fish once someone started it. I was flabbergasted, I was offended, but then again, I was calm, I was forgiving, I was understanding. My faith cannot be shaken by those attempts to minimize my Lord Jesus. I cannot impose my faith on anyone, but absolutely neither can anyone also impose his faith on me. I knew in my heart the truth. That's enough. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, grant me the courage and the faith to always face the forces of this world. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen.